Is this the best weeded bourbon of 2023? Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we're doing a review of the other Origin series by Bardstown Distillery and Company. Their weeded, bottled, and bond bourbon. Now let's get into the facts of this bottle. So this bottle right here is going to be a mash bill consisting of 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. As stated, this is a 100 proof bottled in bond bourbon. It is six years old. And yes, this is Bardstown's own distillate. This bottle right here is beautiful black label compared to their high rye that's on the shelf there. That is their white label. So they're very distinct. You won't get these two confused. Hopefully, I'm not quite sure you can get black and white confused even if you're colorblind. But if you can, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you're checking out the Patreon down below. Because if you want your chance to win a two-ounce sample of this bottle right here, we do giveaways every time I go over a brand new bottle. And uh, somebody over there will be winning a two-ounce sample of this bourbon. But as you guys know before, the... High Rye Bourbon scored pretty, pretty well. It got a 28 and a half on the new scoring system. So without further ado, this bottle is going to be inputted into the same scoring system. So let's get right on into the nose. Okay. Ooh. I got a little bit of like a Swedish fish on the nose. A little bit of that like red candy going on. Wow, this smells so nice. I'm definitely getting a little bit of a corn, like a, um, like a popcorn going on. Like not as strong as like a mellow corn, you know what I mean? But it's not, it's not a, th th that is the initial grain that I'm getting right off of the bat. A little bit of like a darker fruit as well. You know, you have, you have that red Swedish fish candy. I'm, I, are Swedish fish cherry or strawberry? I'm not quite sure, but that is the distinct flavor I'm getting off of that. Then I'm getting that corn, but then I also, I got a little bit of like um, uh, a blackberry almost on there as well. And then that hay comes through, you know? I mean, I always get hay with weeded bourbons, obviously, you know what I mean? But hay, hay is what I'm getting. There's a touch of milk chocolate as well in this. And the milk chocolate I'm getting, I think I've gotten it off of another weeded bourbon as well. It's distinctly M&Ms. It is so distinct of an M&M, it's crazy. Wow, yeah, that's a really nice nose. There are no off-putting, uh, flavors coming out of that, you know, I mean the it's a hundred proof, but I'm able To really stick my nose deep in that glass. I'm not getting a lot of ethanol burn coming right out of that glass It's a lot of sweetness that's coming out of there There's nothing that is too off-putting like if you find in like rise you might find like that dill uh, Coming out of there a little bit of mintiness um, Not saying that those are off-putting uh, Noses that you get from a rye but in a weeded bourbon, you won't be finding those most likely. And if you do, then that's a little weird because there is absolutely no rye in this guy. Because of that, I think right off the bat, the initial nose score that I'm going to give this is a seven and a half. Now we might go back in in a little bit and see if that score changes. But at the moment, score seven and a half. Let's get into the palate and see what this Bardstown weeded bourbon bottled in bond bourbon tastes like. Huge shout out to Salty Lettuce, one of my patrons and loyal subscribers. Again, this bottle was sent by him because here in New Jersey, I just can't find these. But enough jibber jabber, let's get into smacking lips. Wow, that's good stuff. Coats your entire palate. The main area on the tongue that it really affects, like you wouldn't believe, is the center of your tongue and the tip of your tongue. There's no spice coming out of this. There's literally no spice. So what your initial flavor palette is grabbing out of this glass is a sweet kettle corn. That's impressive. That is really, really nice. I get the kettle corn and then it's almost as if you just took a spoonful of vanilla icing. Like, um, what is it? The, the Duncan Hines or... I can't, just like that, that thick vanilla icing, you took a spoonful of it and you just put it on your tongue because it is just a sweet flavor blast. That is fantastic. There's nothing dark about the flavor either. 
It's all warm, bright, super, super inviting. That's what you're looking for. And I mean, at six years old, it's got some age to it. It has a little complexity to it, but this is just, it's something that you would want to introduce somebody to what a weeded bourbon can be. And it is doing it absolutely fantastically. And for $45, that is not, that right there is the bottle of bourbon that I would highly recommend for somebody who is getting into bourbon that wants to try it. And this right here is a top-notch weeded bourbon right off the bat. So palette, right off the bat, it's getting the nine. And going right from that palette, the finish from that second sip is still lingering. So we're gonna go right back in and see what we can pick up from that finish and see if there's anything that was a little off-putting because I don't think there was, but let's find out. It's got this cereal component to it as well. Everybody loves cereal. It's sweet, it's crunchy. It's, it, it, it's just America's favorite, right? But it just, the finish is so nice too because it rounds off and it dissipates very, very slowly, leaving those sweet qualities on your tongue. And that's what you really want in a nice bourbon. So as well, going into the finish, this is gonna get an eight and a half. So being that these are the same exact bottles as the other high rye, I have to give the obtainability the same score as the other one, you know, because it's not found in every state, but in the states that it is found in, it should be readily available and sitting on shelves. So that score is gonna be a 3.5. But value wise, Value-wise for a 100 proof weeded six year bourbon at $45, this right here is getting a five out of five. Hands down, five out of five. I don't think I could give it anything higher than a five. If I could, I'd give it a six, but I can't do that because a five is the highest out of the five that I can give it. So it's getting a five out of five. So this Bardstown weeded bourbon bottled in bond, six years age, their own distillate, gets a score of 31.5. And with a score of 31.5, that puts this, obviously is the highest scoring bourbon reviewed of the year so far, but that makes this a get another bottle now. So Salty, make sure you go pick up another bottle. Everybody who has picked up a bottle of this, in my recommendation, I recommend getting another bottle because I would have a backup of this bottle if I could at the moment. This is a fantastic weeded bourbon, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this incited you in wanting to go pick up a very nice, reasonably priced, weeded, bottled and bond bourbon. Because that right there is just darn good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave your likes, comment down below what you think of this Bardstown weeded bourbon origin series down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. Check out the Patreon. Check out the store. Until next time, this has been Nathan Wade, the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.